Okay, YouTube, let's do a follow-up video here on our VT100 repair. Uh, notice that the last in the last video I had ROM4 failure. And now that uh, we have gotten our ROM card uh, fixed and uh, repaired, uh, moving on up, not real sure what this terminal was brought to me, actually non-functional, so... Uh, whether it had lightning damage or some sort of uh, power surge, don't know. Uh, I know that ROM4 come up bad in diagnostics. Uh, now that my ROMs are all completed, I'm getting a uh, RAM error, which is uh, light L2 and L4 lit. Those are... Uh, of course, uh, are labeled different on this keyboard. This keyboard has had some specialized uh, keycaps. Uh, this this light right here being L1, L2, L3, and then L4 position. So, so we have the two, uh, two, and four lit, which in diagnostics is indicating a RAM failure. Uh, here is my circuit with. Uh, all the original uh, software running in 2716 uh, EPROMs and uh, decoder had had add a decoder IC so so here we have our decoder and this is a just a simply using one section of this little inverter here to invert the uh, the enable pin was actually active high uh, to to actually enable the inverter. Uh, then our select lines. These EEPROMs now must be in these sockets because the original EEPROM had this IC built in each individual EEPROM. So all of these uh, all of these current EEPROMs right here are all uh, all in a all have a select line here coming from the decoder, selecting each uh, U1, U2, U3, and U4. Uh, all the software now uh, tends to function, and of course, you know, it doesn't matter on sockets 1, 2, 3, or 4 there. Yeah, it's just all on the bus connector. Uh, coming over to, to our board, uh, which uh, has just all our software. But now, after uh, getting all of our software running, we have a uh, what appears to be a uh, RAM error, and uh, and as it comes up, uh, you know we have uh, just bars on the screen now rather than just random garbage. Uh, so that's the progress report. Uh, now off to find out which uh, RAM has failed. Or is it a uh, an actual RAM chip not getting selected, or an actual chip failure? Uh, just brought you up to date on that. The EEPROMs do seem to be uh, working. Uh, I can remove it and run diagnostics, and it does detect U1, 2, 3, and 4. So it appears that the software is uh, up and running. Simple circuit. Uh, if you need to do this or build this, you know, just just have a uh, have your uh, de uh, decoder there and uh, specifically put your software in uh, U1, 2, 3, and 4. And the chip select line, you will have to invert that going into your uh, decoder.